we are launching the Magna Carta and the Changing Face of Revolt exhibition. It's an exhibition which focuses on the 1216 issue of Magna Carta, which is the only one in existence anywhere in the world, which is the property of the cathedral, and it's on loan to the exhibition. But it's not just about the Magna Carta in its 800th year, it's about the story of the Magna Carta and how it relates to revolt, and so we're taking the story from the Magna, issue of the Magna Carta in 1215 through the Wars of the Roses into the British Civil Wars, onto the Jacobite Rebellion and into the Great uh, Charter, um, ending up in the 20th century. Magna Carta was for the first time a document that restricted the rights of the king and put it into writing. And so not just in the UK but around the world, Magna Carta has been used as an example um, of how that restriction can be placed on the rule of the, the monarch. As we were putting the exhibition together, it was really quite interesting as we saw topical um, subjects emerging that fitted quite nicely into the, the storyline of the exhibition. Um, and so the 20th and 21st century galleries will reflect um, revolt right up to the present day. In 2013, we had Linda's Van Gospels, and it was a world-class exhibition attracting 100,000 people to Durham. Durham was the centre of the cultural world. Um, it was world-class in Durham, and this, for me, is the next world-class in Durham. We have some of the most important manuscripts and artefacts from around the UK telling the story of Magna Carta and the changing face of revolt. Um, and it's the whole thing is a highlight that we are at the centre again of the culture um, in Durham. Well, we want them to enjoy it first and foremost. Um, we want people to come and to see the, the fabulous pieces that we have in the exhibition. Um, but we want them to just start thinking about whether throughout history, which side would they have been on? Would they have been a citizen or would they have been a rebel? Well, it's been preserved for us in that our monastic forebears put it in the collections 800 years ago and we've been looking after it ever since. Um, it's a part of our heritage. It's obviously a major um, document in British history. Um, it's one that the church had a part in creating and distributing, but they've never been seen by the public um, in a big exhibition until now. So this is the first time in 800 years that there's been large public access to them.